Hey Pixels, if there's one question I always get asked on my web design tutorials, it's how to turn a website designed in Adobe XD into an actual website, which for most websites at its core starts with HTML and CSS. Well, you don't want to miss this tutorial because I teamed up with Anima to show you how to turn one of my most popular website designs into a responsive, interactive website prototype in just five easy steps. Anima is a design-to-code platform that integrates with Adobe XD, giving web and app designers the power to turn their static designs into working prototypes and live websites directly from their design tool. For the unicorns out there, think of Anima as a great tool that automates your UI coding grunt work. You can easily add the Anima plugin to XD via the XD plugin library. Then you'll need to create an Anima account and project so that you can sync your XD design to Anima's web app. Now you're ready to get started. First, let's make our website responsive. In XD, we'll open up the Anima plugin and select the Responsive tab. We've already designed a landing page for three main devices, desktop, tablet, and mobile. This makes it easy for us to add responsive breakpoints in Anima. All we need to do is select all three artboards, then add them as breakpoints. Anima automatically detects the sizes of the artboards to use as breakpoints for the website. I'll hit save and then preview in browser just to confirm that our first step is complete. In preview, we can switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile and see how they easily respond to the width of the page. We can also manually adjust the width of the page and watch it adjust to the screen size in real time. So far so good, let's move on to step two. Next, let's add an interaction to the website. I noticed that some websites have a subtle interaction on the site logo. On hover, the logo grows in size and then shrinks back down to its original size off hover. I'll replicate that interaction for this landing page. With the logo selected on the desktop artboard, I'll navigate to the prototype tab in Anima and select hover effect. We can choose from many different effects, but to achieve this hover effect, we can select grow. The default settings are ideal for this site, so I won't modify it. I'll also apply this hover effect to the tablet artboard. I'll hit save and then preview in browser. We did it. It's subtle, but it adds a nice touch to the site. On to step three. Now, let's bring this landing page to life with some video. I want to replace our hero image on both the desktop and tablet artboard with a video. This hero image layer in XD will act as the placeholder for the video. I already have the video file that I want to add to the site, so with the layer selected, I'll select the Media tab in Anima. Then, I'll hit Upload File and choose the video file on my computer. Now that the file is uploaded, I'll select the ellipses, copy the link, and paste it in the field above. I'll hit next, and then add some additional playback settings. Now that the video is added to the desktop artboard, I'll repeat the steps to the tablet artboard. Now, let's preview in browser to see the video. This looks so nice. Let's go on to step four. Right at the bottom of the landing page, the footer, we have four social media icons. For this site, I want the icons to link to their respective sites. Luckily, Anima makes it easy to do just that. Simply select an icon, go to links, the link type we'll choose is external, but there's also other link types we can choose from. We'll add the link, making sure we include that HTTPS bit at the start of the address. Hit save. I'll repeat this on the tablet and mobile artboard. board. 
Let's select the desktop artboard and preview what we just did in the browser, just to make sure the social media links work. Love it. So now it's time to move on to step five to complete the process of turning our static design into an actual interactive website prototype. Now's the time to show you the true magic of Anima, exporting your design in XD into HTML and CSS code. As you know, I've shown you in many different tutorials over the years on how to convert your designs in XD into HTML and CSS. Well, now we live in a time where there are some amazing tools that can do that for us. Although Anima states that the HTML code is production ready, you may want to tweak the syntax and naming conventions in the code to your liking. You do need to be a pro user to access the export to code feature in Anima. However, you can still view the code without the pro account. For this tutorial, I'll show you how amazing this feature is so you may consider upgrading your account. To convert your design to code using Anima, you want to make sure you have the prototype preview open. You might also need to make sure that your XD file and Anima projects are synced. In the top right nav bar, you'll see a button that says export code. You can choose between exporting the full project, the current screen, or an individual component you've selected. If you click the gear icon, you can also choose the framework you're exporting to, including HTML5, React, or Vue. For this tutorial, we'll use the trusty HTML and keep the CSS styling to Flexbox. We're also going to export the current screen and open the code in CodePen so we can instantly see how accurately Anima is able to export our code. As you can see, the exported design looks exactly how it was designed in XD. The only difference is the buttons clearly a bit wonky. It looks like divs were used instead of the anchor tag and the button tag for the email opt-in form. This can easily be fixed by tweaking the code for the buttons or even replacing the buttons with buttons found in the Anima widget library throughout the landing page. Nonetheless, Anima did a fantastic job turning our static design in XD into a real interactive site with some HTML and CSS. An additional feature in Anima that I want to highlight is that you can inspect your prototype's code before actually exporting the code. To do this, simply select the code button. As you click through all the elements in your design prototype, you can see the HTML and CSS Anima generated. Finally, Anima allows you to share your website prototype by inviting a collaborator to a team or a project. You may also create a public link to your prototype for user testing purposes or to share with a larger audience. So that's how you turn a responsive website design in XD into an interactive website prototype using Anima. Give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something new and leave a comment below if you've ever tried Anima before or will try it now that you've learned more about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.